Well, it's been a while since I made a video again. <laughs> I, I know. I've uh, been a little busy with other stuff. Um, so I was just down here working and um, I found a minifig that uh, it was in some other mock of mine and I didn't realize that because uh, usually I try to keep track of all my minifigs. Well, that's almost an impossibility right now. But um, I um, found this guy uh, and I decided to add a sticker because he had a really bad torso. Um, it was mostly just white. So, um, but in the process of doing that, I came across this problem that a lot of people have with old minifigs that the head pops off very, very easy. Now this one's not to the point where it just comes off when you hold it upside down, but you can see, whoop, there. <laughs> so that's not very conducive to, you know, minifig displays and stuff. <laughs> so uh, in the past I've used liquid paper, uh, when I was younger and I would put liquid paper over top of the, uh, the white spot here or the black spots on the other minifig on their necks. Um, I don't have any liquid paper anymore and nobody does. Uh, so, I mean, you can use a variety of different things, but what I've been doing is anything I have done in my Lego room, uh, I could just cut a little notch of, uh, the sticky stuff that, um, and you just put it on there and you make sure it overlaps the top, right? Because when you push the head down on it, and let me just put the uh, tank on first, when you push the head down on it, it's, if it's just on the front, it'll just push the whole thing down. So you make sure it's over top like that. And now the head's on solidly and you can still turn it. I mean, this is for display. This isn't for playing. <laughs> now, now it's harder to turn. You get thinner tape, you can use scotch tape, you can use green tape, painter's tape, whatever tape you have. Duct tape's way too thick. Uh, I've tried with duct tape, it doesn't work very well at all. But uh, I just happen to use, and so with this, I mean, this guy's just gonna go into a display now. Um, and it's gonna stay on, his head's gonna stay on. Uh, the helmet, it's not too bad. I'm not going to worry about the helmet, but what I have done in the past is I put a little piece of tape inside or up, up in, on the ridge here of the uh, the stud here, and then that will keep the helmet on. Uh, but you have to be very, very, um, use small pieces. Don't use, like, don't wrap the neck uh, with tape because that's way too thick, and uh, the helmet will fit on, and you'll just have all this scrunched up tape at the bottom. Um, so that was a quick video, two minutes and 36 seconds <laughs> for a change for me. Um, uh, and now this minifig is going to go into my, um, my completed slash good bin of minifigs. So this is, all my torsos are looking pretty good in here, uh, either from original or from the stickers. Um, and so what I'm going to do up my next show, so this is original, this guy, again, not, not the, um, Penny, Lenny, Jenny, Kenny. Uh, this guy is original. A uh, little faded on the edges, but uh, it's good enough for me. Um, green better be good. <laughs> Basically new. Uh, sticker, uh, pink better be good. Uh, red, sticker. Oh, no, he's original. This guy's original. Look at that. Original gold. Uh, happy to see that. Uh, another original gold. So some of my minifigs made it <laughs> through the years. Um, and so, and this is my... Now this, these are all the figs that are not in the in the layout boxes right now, and I probably have just as many of these mini figs in the uh, the layout itself, uh, which is in storage right now. So what I'm going to do when I set up the layout next time is I'm going to replace all the mini figs that are there with these guys, um, and then I'm going to fix them up. So these, but these are the ones that I haven't done yet. And you can see that there's barely a logo in there, uh, just white on there. Again, barely. So, um, yellow's faded to nothing. The gold's faded to nothing. Um, most, as you can see, red, white, and a little bit of yellow uh, are in here. Um, that one's questionable. When I'm looking at it dead on, it doesn't look like it's there. But then I club when I look at the edge, it looks like there's gold. But I'm going to cover that up anyway. <laughs> so, um, mostly red and white. Some of these guys, oh, see, this guy got the number seven on it. He was in the movie. <laughs> So this is one of my original minifigs uh, from when I was a kid. Um, I actually numbered them all uh, up until we I started buying Futuron and because we made subsequent movies that never got released, uh, never got a soundtrack. But the uh, our movie that we made when I was 15 or 16, um, all the minifigs, torsos had the number on them to differentiate them. So this was number seven uh, in the movie. And... Um, 
yeah, so I know this is, but, but you can see the logo's well gone now. Uh, so he got well used over the years. Uh, so I'm, I've ordered some more sheets of logos. Uh, when they come in, I will do more of these guys. I don't think I'll be able to do them all. I don't think I ordered, I don't know, there's probably 50, 60 minifigs in here. Um, but I'll, I'll just keep on going with it. And um, I'll keep you guys posted. But just, you know, just snip off a little piece of um, sticker here. And just use it to hold your minifig heads on. Um, it, it works okay. And again, for, for display, do you, do you really care? Um, if, if it's really hard for the minifig head to turn. I don't, <laughs> because it's on display, it'll be in a box. Uh, and brought up for display. So, uh, this guy now is good to go. And I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, now I've gone five minutes. So, <laughs> I will try to wrap this up nicely. You guys all take care. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay masked when you're outside. Um, and um, I'll talk to you. Oh, this guy. Where did he came from? I'm trying to pull a Dana here. <laughs> Except they're not red hands. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.